folks, my next guest is a stand-up comedian with a new talk show called Problematic. Please welcome Moshe Kasher. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Well, a new talk show on Comedy Central. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. No. Uh, how is everybody over there? Uh, it's good. We're good. I'm good. I finally uh -huh. figured out uh, there's the block feature on Twitter, so that's really been helping. Oh, okay. Are you already being attacked? No, I'm not being attacked, but I preempted it. There's, I found a new feature. You can actually go in and you can block specific phrases. Did you know that? No. Yeah, like, I, I went in, all these phrases I knew they'd come at me with, you know, like, you know, Jew, big perfect hair, they can't get to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I haven't blocked those yet. No, you don't have to. Well, um... <laughs> starting a new... Very well. Starting a new show, I've started a couple of new shows in my day. It can be chaotic. Do you, do you guys have everything nailed down yet? We have... Well, we are dealing with controlled chaos. Just by the, by, just by the premise of the show, we're trying to talk to people that wouldn't normally get along, right? We're trying to have, and you've done this really well on this show. I mean, we're trying to have these real conversations, right? But we deal with weird, chaotic creatures. Like, we, uh, we next week's episode is about Islam. Uh, not the one that's coming up this week, but next week is Islam. And we wanted to get some people from outside of the liberal world to ask real pointed questions to a panel of Muslim friends of mine that I invited on. And we went onto this website, uh, 4chan, which is a bit of a, Oh, oh, I see that there's some channers in the house. Yes, uh, yeah. That is a dark, dark place. We said, please submit any questions. We're going to get rid of hate speech, of course. Uh, but when we went into the email address that we gave them, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of just gay reality porn subscriptions were in there. <laughs> and I was like, you know, the adult in me was like, that's awful. And the comedian in me was like, that's awesome. <laughs> and then there was a third part of me that was like, I need a little bit of time in my dressing room. Mm -hmm. Well, why is it called problematic? That's the name. What, what, what's problematic? Well, problematic is a term I think that people throw at people when they say something that's offensive or... I, basically, I think what has happened is... I've been thinking a lot about this phrase in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, yeah. uh, as I always bring up when I'm on the show. Um, yeah. Get help, Stephen. Um, <laughs> to admit that others were wrong was as far as most of us ever got. Right? And I feel like that is the primary interactor that we're dealing with right now. Everybody says, you're wrong, and then that's the end of the conversation. And by the way, I'm a liberal, and we're the worst at it. Liberals are the worst. We do this thing where we talk about... The way we talk about right-wing voters is so crazy. It's like, these backcountry, hillbilly, banjo-playing, moonshine-swilling, the cousin-humping morons, why don't they vote with us? It's like, uh, they could hear you. Uh, what's, what are you, what, what are you wrong about? Like, what is problematic about you? Do you do admit to your own problematicity? I it's like a word. It. It's a word. What's the most problematic thing about me? I, got, I have identity issues. I came from, like, a weird background. I have a strange childhood. My parents were both deaf. Uh, they're super into hip-hop, both of them, and, uh... <laughs> My mom growing up, she's a deaf woman, strong deaf woman, great deaf woman. I'm from Oakland, California. That's where I'm from. Bra, 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 bra. I've been doing that brap brap joke for a long time, but it makes less and less sense due to the effects of gentrification. Now it's more like... It's more like now, like, I'm from Oakland. <laughs> Latte? But I will say this. I'm very funny. I will yeah. say this. Growing up in Oakland, uh, I listened to the soundtrack of Oakland. I mean, I thought... I had an identity crisis as a young man. I listened to the soundtrack of Oakland growing up. Gangster rap. Just strictly West Coast gangster rap. People like Snoop Dogg, Too Short, E-40. You know, that's what, that was the soundtrack to my life. And if you are going to be eight and nine years old listening to gangster rap, it's definitely helpful to have a deaf mother. That's a big boon to the plan. <laughs> <laughs> My mom would just be happily driving us to school as we're blaring Snoop Dogg. Bitches ain't <laughs> but hoes and tricks. My mom's like, oh, I like this stuff. I can feel the bass. We can feel it too, Mom. Biatch. We wouldn't say that. Um, well, Moshe, nice to meet you. Thanks for being Thank here. You for having me Good on. luck with the, the so talk much. show on Comedy Central. It's a lovely place to work. <laughs> Problematic airs Tuesday on Comedy Central. Motion Casher, everybody.